How's it, how's it? I want you to be the very best photographer that you can be. And to help you on that journey, I'm going to share with you weekly tips and experiences from my three years of studying photography full-time at Pretoria Technicon Photo School. Five minute photo school will be a great way for you to reconnect with the basics, to learn and master them, because they are the foundation of great photography. Spend five minutes in a room with a bunch of photographers and you'll see that all of them have different ideas about what constitutes a great photograph. But ultimately it boils down to one thing alone. Gary Winogrand said that he photographs the world to see what it looked like photographed. In the welcome pack for photo school, amongst the list of other bits and bobs that we were required to buy, like a thermometer, it was listed camera equipment. And on there, it said, these are the primes we would like you to have. And at the bottom was a line, zoom lenses are not recommended for first years. And the reason for this would become apparent in our first lecture. Vision in photography is so fundamental to creating images with soul. Without your own specific vision in them, your images are just going to be lifeless. The best way to start to tap into that vision is to become one with the camera. This is why the photo school said, look, you're only going to shoot black and white. You're only going to use prime lenses because they wanted us to start to tap into the way that the camera sees the world to take all the choices about how we compose an image out of the hands of different lenses and, and all the trickery that you could do with equipment and take it right back to basics, to craft images using our eyes and a limited tool. world with this fascination about you know gear and endless reviews everybody's missing a trick that to become a photographer with vision you need to become one with your camera you need to see the world as a photographer sees it like Gary Winogrand said to see what the world looks like when it is photographed because it looks very different into photographer's unique vision. Think about the images that you, that you enjoy. Think about this like a bit of homework that you go through and you look at those photos and you pick out the elements that speak to you, that resonate. And once you've done that through your favorite photographers, go and look at your own images as well to tease out what is hiding in plain sight in your photographs, even though you don't know it. And to do this, watch the tips in this video here, which will show you where all the magic is lying. Thank you ever so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of 5-Minute Photo School.